Welcome back bogeys and welcome to let's get the DIY done so we can start on the Mark 1. Alright so the fire's all cleared out, um, going to move on to doing the floorboards. Uh, we've got oh, big sheets, only four at the moment, the rest are being delivered later. Uh, yeah, so you can see the state of the floor, just going to basically replace them with that, so joists seem pretty good. A little bit wobbly over this side near the, the TV, but we can work on that. We're going to just work along that main wall, I think, first, get a row laid, and then move across to the front of the house. Um, and see so how we go. We're going to do it in sections, so at least people can still keep walking through the house, because I've got people living here, sadly. So, yeah, so let's get some floorboards up. We can get one of these sheets laid down just so we can see the lay of the land, double check the thickness of things, and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, thinking this might take too long. I think it will take quite a long time actually, just taking these things up. Joy seemed pretty good, looks like some have been replaced. I don't remember doing that 18, 19 years ago, but maybe we did. Um, but yeah. Um, I know we had a load of floorboards up because I was running the wire and heating and stuff like that. So, and then I obviously bodged the whole stuff back in. But anyway, keep going. All right, I think I made a big enough hole. I'm trying to keep the door on, but I don't mean really need the door on. I suppose I could just take it off to get it out of the way. But I think it's not on my way at the moment. So yeah, um, joists all seem pretty good. Um, I think, well, they seem a little bit loose near the end, but obviously they're not screwed to anything. You know, they just they just sit. Um, so obviously, yeah, you know, once you take a few boards away, they do get a little bit wobbly. Uh, so we're going to clean them up a bit, take out some of the old nails, some of the ones I can't pull out, I'm just going to grind off with the old disc cutter, because you've got to use a disc cutter, haven't you, whenever you're doing a job. So yeah, let's clean that off and then let's slide a board in just to get an idea of what things look like and how things lay. All right, it's not far off the same thickness, if not the same, it's maybe, a, oh, I don't think it's too much, but just a little bit tight on the skirting board down there, but then it, uh, it might just need a bit of bouncing on actually. Just, yeah, I think I'll put a bit of weight on that, that'll just tap in under. So that's fine, so. Yeah, it's looking good, bad, and sort of the end isn't far off. One of the joists, which I'm assuming you really need to at least try and have them uh, not in the middle of two spars. Um, but to be honest, I could come a fraction a little bit, but what I might do is just add another bit of two by two, screw that to the end uh, of that beam just to give it a bit of a load spreading. And then, yeah, and then we'll, we'll stagger, stagger the next row. So we don't, you know, you don't just have one join going right across the floor. So yeah, all looking good so far. Hot work, yes. All right, so I'll show you filming it. Um, but I've cut the next section as well. Looks like it's in there. Just need to check everything. Yeah, looks good. Haven't screwed it down yet. Um, I'll screw down one edge. Um, then fit the next one and then move the screws across obviously because I think if you screw all this down it makes the next one quite hard to slide in um, so best not to. I was told that some people only screw across one edge 
and then all the others they put in, they just glue along the joints. Um, but I don't want any squeaks or nothing. So I will screw the whole lot down. Uh, yeah. Whew. Oh, I'm aware of this. Oh, time for a beer, so eh? Just to say, I'm trying to do it with the, uh, the skirt board on. Be a lot easier if it wasn't on, but I might pull it off in the end, but I'm trying not to. Uh, it looks like there's a massive gap down there, but honestly, there isn't. Just looks worse than it is. I might tap it back a bit the other way, but it'll be alright. Need a little bit of uh, venting along the sides anyway, I think. Just show you what screws I'm using. These super dry, high performance professionals. See, professional, I'm a professional. So they're quite good. Loads of things on these days, all different ridges and stuff and basically yeah just power them through in one go Bob's your uncle all right time to uh, start the next section because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing so uh, yeah obviously I want to stagger it so I want to put the full sheet this in now uh, obviously I'm now into the fireplace so I'm gonna to have to I either just stagger at the stop here and just do a small bit or I actually cut a big corner out which would be nicer uh, but then yeah I'm not too sure how it was sliding and stuff but uh, we'll give it a go let's get some drawboards up there Right, change my mind actually, instead of making it an L section to go down there. This bit's hardly going to be stepped on anyway, it's where the sofa goes. So I'm going to trim this edge off and put it flush with the uh, the hearth base. Um, and then that lies up perfect with the beam down that end, which is great. And then what I do is I just um, put a little bit of extra wood in this one and just put a small section in here later on when I've got an off cut with all the other wood coming up. I think that will work nicer and make sure that ends nice and strong rather than this corner that no one actually stands in anyway. That takes abuse that end because of the, all the walking in and out, so it's got to be fairly tough. Right. Got that bit down, not screwed in yet, just placed in. Um, bit of a tidy up, wife will be home soon, so uh, yeah. Still haven't done that board that there's a corner there, so there's a bit of a gap still. I haven't pushed it up tight yet, so that's still to do. Alright, getting late in the day now, so I haven't videoed all of it as always, do apologise. So I went and picked up four balls, another 16 arriving tomorrow. Um, so I've got these four in. Looking all right, I think, you know, staggered them. Okay, not half staggered, but staggered enough for what I need. And they fitted better. So just trying a few ideas out with tiles and stuff for the fireplace. But yeah, looking a lot better and a lot more solid. Um, still more screwing to do, but I'm just putting a few in at the moment until I because sometimes I keep having to lift them up, put other sections in. Um, but yeah, once this room's done, we've got to move on to the other room, the back room. But yeah, hopefully uh, another day of this, we get this one all floored out. So yeah, cheers for following again. Uh, any advice greatly appreciated. Might not follow it, as I said, but you know, you, all you can do is offer advice. Cheers guys, late in the day, time for Stella, which is over there.